Welcome to SU News Channel. San Marino make history with their first ever competitive win 20 years and 140 games since their only other victory, which came against the same team. Nico Sensely created history after his goal sealed San Marino's first ever competitive win over Liechtenstein on a seismic Thursday night. Sensely pounced on a moment of indecision at the back from the visitors, latching onto Giacomo Benvenuti's hopeful ball into the penalty area to prod home beyond a stranded Benjamin Butchel. Unsurprisingly, Sensely's heroics on his competitive debut no less sparked chaos in the stands, with many of those watching on probably never having seen their side taste victory before. But that is nothing compared to the scenes on the pitch. The 19-year-old national hero was mobbed by his teammates, who swarmed the forward who could scarcely believe what he had just done. Sensely's previous experience of international football came in three friendly matches, all of which were losses by an aggregate score of 11 to 2. San Marino's only other victory in their entire history also came in a 1-0 win over Liechtenstein, record marksman Andy Selva getting the goal on that night back in 2004, marking a curious twist of fate between the two nations. The final whistle brought about celebrations the likes of which San Marino have never seen, not even after that win 20 years ago. The stadium announcer was sent into raptures on the final whistle, and could be heard chanting San Marino Uno. Liechtenstein 0 over the Tannoy system as the players collapsed at the San Marino Stadium, with an entire nation's hopes at last achieved. An understandably nervy final half hour to the game lay in waiting for the Titani after Sensely's goal, though the hosts had their chances to make it 2 0. Right winger Andrea Contadini's energy and intensity late on proved a thorn in the side of Liechtenstein's defense, and on 75 minutes he broke free once more. With acres to run into down the right, he reached the goal mouth but rather than square it and set up an open goal for Nicola Nani, he went for glory but couldn't beat Butchel at the near post. There were signs of San Marino's growing nervousness, Lorenzo Capiccioni giving up a corner under little pressure in the 77th minute a prime example. As the game hurtled towards a historic climax, the cameras panned around the ground, and not a single home fan could be found in their seats, instead they were to a supporter stood nervously, some hopping foot to foot, some biting nails, all feeling every second of this momentous night of nights. As the final 10 minutes came around, the telltale calls for the referee's whistle began, but San Marino continued to plug away in the hunt of a second, substitute Marcelo Molaroni denied by an on-rushing Butchel, before Samuel Zanoni again came close three minutes from time. Yet perhaps the biggest celebration of all greeted teenager Tommaso Benvenuti's lung-bursting run deep into added time to earn a free kick inside the Liechtenstein half, before letting out a roar and pumping his fist as though he'd scored the winning goal himself. Despite cramp and fatigue starting to set in on the field, Roberto Sevilli's side held firm, but only after a final, 97th-minute Liechtenstein free kick into the box which flew just wide of the mark, although it appeared to touch a Samarini's player last. But it didn't matter, as the whistle at last came seconds later, and brought an end to the longest unsuccessful streak in international football, San Marino had the competitive win that they had craved for so long. The win sees San Marino take top spot in the nation's league group, with Gibraltar the third side in the pool yet to play, though few would have expected tonight's group toppers. While it is a historic moment in the history of the microstate nation, roughly the size of Milton Keynes with a population of around 32,000, there has been growing confidence behind the team. Sensiles was San Marino's sixth goal in nine games, which may sound like a meager return to those of us used to Harry Kane, Buke Osaka, and co taunting most European enemies on a regular basis. But compared to the five they had scored in the previous 36, it marks a massive improvement in their form, and with a friendly trip to Moldova coming on Tuesday, Sevilli's side will have a newfound confidence behind them. However, thoughts of what is to come for San Marino are ill-placed on the night of their greatest ever achievement. For now, the result will rightly be greeted with the elation, jubilation and celebration that it deserves. After all, this win has been some time in the making. Source, DailyMail.co.uk Please like, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching.